Hello, in today's video I am here to explain you how to find research articles or research paper or research content. So there are many other research engines which will help you to find your research article. Let us move on to the first step. You have to bookmark academic search engines that are available for free. Academic search engines provide an alternate to traditional search engines that might return sources that aren't appropriate for scholarly research. Then these search engines allow you to search journals and other academic sources for free. There are some popular academic search engines like Google Scholar, Science Direct, IEEE Explore, etc. And you, you must know that most of the academic search engines only provide you the link to a citation and abstract, not the full text of the article. However, you can read the abstract to determine if the article would be helpful for you. And the second step is to read the guidelines and help pages to get most out of the academic search engines. Each of the academic search engines operates somewhat differently. Before you start searching, you have to take a few minutes to read any available guides that can help you to get started. These guidelines will tell you how you to search the most efficiently, including symbols and punctuations. You can add to your searches to limit them and weed out unhelpful results. And the third step which is you have to search the full title of the research article on the internet. Since academic search engines typically only let you see the citation and the abstract of the article, if you want to read the full article you have to find it someplace else. However, the benefit of the academic search engines is that you will know exactly what you are looking for. The first step you have to follow is read the abstract and any other information available about the article to find out it might be, might be helpful to you. Then search the title in quotation marks. If the full text of the article is available on the internet, you will be able to find it with this search. And keep it in mind that this search will pull up any pages where the title of the article appears and many of which likely won't include the full text of the article. You may have to dig through a few links to find out the full text and some of the links you will be find, you will be able to find a subscription based database with a paywall. These sites typically won't let you view more than the abstract for free. Then I need to give you a tip which is as you are scrolling your research results you have to look for a link with a PDF extension. So these are more likely to be the full text of the article. Then the fourth step you have to download a browser extension to get past paywalls. Searching the internet yourself for the full text of an article can sometimes be a cumbersome and frustrating process. There are a couple of browser extensions, unpaywall and open access button that can do this work for you. So these browser extensions search the web for a full text copy of the article on the internet. They don't hack subscription database or allow you to access articles illegally. Rather they search for free copies of the article that already exist. And for example, the author of the article might have uploaded a PDF of the article on their own website or on the university faculty page. So the browser extensions may help you to find out the article more quickly than you could on your own. Then the second method of accessing scholarly databases which will help you to find your research article which is you have to find out what subscriptions are available through your school's library. If you attend a larger college or an university, the library likely maintains subscriptions for a lot of scholarly databases where you can find quality research articles. Your school librarian will be able to tell you which databases you can access. There might also be a list on library website. 
if you are already guaranteed find out if you can get alumni access to scholarly databases even if you aren't a student you, your public library could have some useful resources and my tip is if you are not affiliated with a college or a university you have to speak or talk to the research librarian at your public library public libraries often have scholarly databases subscriptions as well then the second step which is you have to search for articles on the government run so scholarly databases government institutions often maintain online responsibilities of scholarly articles for researchers to access free of charge many of these databases provide the full text of the article some extensive databases include for example pubmed which is offered by the national center of biotechnology information in the us not all the articles are free but you can limit your search to full text articles and also there are two more websites education resources information center which is maintained by the institution of education sciences in the us this is also you cannot all you cannot find all articles for free but you can limit your search to full text and the third one is nasa scientific and technical information then the third step is you have to register to use open access journals and databases open access journals are quality peer reviewed publications that do not hide research articles behind a paywall rather their articles are available to the public online some databases and aggregators you can use or include for example core which has more than 66 million open access scholarly journals or articles and science open which has 28 million articles across all science disciplines and d d d a d o a j which has more than 2 million articles from 9519 open access journals and public library of science which has seven open access journals in science fields etc so i think with the help of this video you can able to find out the research articles and also you can know how to find the research articles and where to find the research articles if you have any other doubts or queries regarding this or any other else you can comment us below or else you can contact us through our whatsapp number displayed on this video or else you can visit our website so i think this video will be helpful for you if you like my video please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching and also you can mail us and also you can feel free to contact us thanks for watching